Hi guys, so this webinar is called the rapid fire test method, how to get 50 sales per week so your pixel will optimize. This is by far the number one biggest mistake I see beginner dropshippers make. They'll get a few sales here and there, and but it won't be consistent. That's the biggest thing. So they'll, for example, they'll get three sales today, two sales tomorrow, five sales the next day, and then for some reason it just drops. And people don't really understand why. They say maybe it has something to do with uh, their pixel, and yes. That's part of the answer. You have to get 50 sales per week so your pixel will optimize. More specifically, you have to get 50 conversions per week so your pixel will optimize. This is what I call the rapid fire test method, and this will guarantee you get 50 sales per week so your pixel will optimize. So for this, the budget I would say 300 to 1,000, 30 days. The idea is to have one campaign with each 10 ad sets with three creatives each. This is the important part, with CBO. So once again, you will need one campaign, each with 10 ad sets, three creatives each with CBO turn on. Now what CBO is, it's campaign budget optimization. Let's go to Facebook's website and see what we can find about campaign budget optimization. Here we go. So campaign budget optimization is a way of optimizing the distribution of a campaign budget across your campaign's ad sets. This means Facebook automatically and continuously finds the best available opportunities for results across your ad sets and distributes your campaign budget in real time to get those results. So basically what it's trying to say is that the idea is to run multiple parallel, I should say, parallel ad sets together. Because a lot of people think, a lot of people think, sorry, that what optimizes is the ad set that's not necessarily true it's not the ad set that optimizes it's your pixel your ad set forms part of an ad campaign and the ad campaign optimizes with the pixel for specific events so for example in the campaign you could optimize for anything you know traffic reach conversions whatever you're going to do it will optimize whichever event you're trying to do will optimize so this is where people forget. People think that your ad set optimizes and you shouldn't tweak it, you shouldn't touch it. That is true. The ad sets do optimize, but what really optimizes, what's really driving this optimization is the pixel itself. So now if you have multiple parallel um, ad sets, sorry, underneath the campaign, and they all get, let's say, 10 sales and you have 10 ad sets, then you will be getting 100 sales under the purchase pixel. The purchase pixel will fire, I should say, 100 times per week. That will be enough to get your pixel profitable, your pixel optimized, and your cost per purchase should be start going down, and you will start spinning the flywheel that is Facebook, and when you will get hundreds and maybe thousands of purchases before your audience gets exhausted. So the idea, in my opinion, how to run the rapid fire test method is to use 10 different but similar niche ad sets. The same interest, only one interest flexed with engaged shoppers and online shopping. Roughly, you'll get five purchases at $5 per purchase, 50 conversions in seven days. I would say each ad set, leave it for $5 a day. It will find the best performing ad creative underneath the ad set and the best one creative the best creative, I should say, sorry, you can always turn on and turn off without affecting the optimization of the ad campaign, which is nice. So this is how you do it, folks. There's, I see a lot of people asking me questions. How do you do this? How do you do this? And there's no really clear answer. This would be the clear answer. You have to get 50 conversions in seven days. That is the method that I would do. Your three creatives should be different CTA. Learn more CTA, shop now CTA, etc., etc. And this is why 99% of dropshippers fail because 50 conversions is not achieved and the pixel will not fire consistently. I should have said that consistently. So, this is a short diagram that I just created using PowerPoint. It gives you the idea of what I mean. Campaign number one, three ad sets and each ad set has three creatives. Now, obviously this is just a representation. I recommend having 10 ad sets for one campaign, but this is just a very simplified diagram. This is kind of, if you look at it, this is how we reverse engineer winning funnels. As you can tell, 
the shape of it itself looks like a net kind of like a pyramid a sideways pyramid and this is where you want to feed it traffic so traffic is going to come on the right side through the ad creatives it's going to go up the ad set and up the ad campaign this is why this structure is so so important you structure it way you structure it in a way sorry that it will maximize the amount of reach using the budget that you allocate very very simple using cbo this will alternate between the profitable and non-profitable ad sets it will increase and reduce budget according to results my recommendation is after you've rapid fire tested this using different ad sets with the same so i should say different creatives um with the same interest targeting of the ad set but you can choose different products the ad sets all stay the same as far as placement as far as age and as far as targeting worldwide versus e-packet that's however you want to do it as long as it stays the same the only thing that will change here is your creative so you want to have the same interest on all your ad sets the creatives are what's different and this is really where your money is going to come from every group of creatives by the way so for example this bundle of threes should be one product so it's just one product in three different methods so how i said before different ctas that's basically what i mean so each ad creative group bundles together as a product anyways guys i don't want to make this webinar too long i hope you guys learned something by the way we are having right now a special on consulting calls a bunch should be popping up at the bottom make sure you click that and you'll see our special next because i know this is a lot of information to take in it really is and to anyone it would confuse the crap out of this is why i'm here i'm here to be your coach and i'm here to be your guide through the world of drop shipping check it out click the button see which discount you get you might be surprised and hopefully we can work together I'll see you guys on the other side. Hopefully, richer. Have. I'll see you guys on the other side. Hopefully, richer. Hope you guys have a good night. Bye bye.